Okay. So, uh, <coughs> I was just saying, uh, in the, in the, in the first part, uh, video about Jesus, you know, I think that, uh, he had a lot of skills, man, as far as, uh, getting people to follow him and listen to his bullshit. There really wasn't that many people following him, you know, but when it comes to the Bible, here's me, man. God is like a, a kind of sort of maybe, not even sure at all, really. I'm still kind of, I don't know what's happening. You know what I mean? I know there's some crazy shit going on. Jesus, I just, I don't believe that shit. I don't, I think he was lying the whole time. Um, to me, the Bible is just a fucking book full of dog shit. You know, it's, uh, if, uh, you know, if I'm wrong, fuck it, you know. The thing is... <laughs> Supposedly, if I'm wrong, he's going to forgive me for it and I'll be all good. But these fucking humans, just like me, tell me that that's not good enough. You know, me being a good person, that's not good enough. Me just uh, helping people out is not good enough. I have to accept in my heart and live that way. And again, you ain't doing it, motherfucker. You ain't goddamn innocent. You ain't fucking not guilty. If you're born here, you're fucking guilty. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. You're guilty. You know, some people tell me uh, children are, uh, they're okay with God until they're over age of 18, which I find hard to believe. I didn't know that people had a scale like that at the time where people actually, um, you know, like, well, you when you turn 18, you can buy cigarettes, you can vote, and you can go to hell. Before that, you're just an innocent child. You know, like I said, man, what, what type of God would kill little kids, you know, have them raped and murdered, or uh, kill all these people in Japan, and then that fucking come catching fucking Bible beaten bitch that wants to get on a video and say that God grabbed Japan and shook it by the shoulders, and then you fucking piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. I hope you see this one day. Not that it'll matter. You'll just pray for me or some shit. Don't bother. Um. You know, uh, the Bible, man, for me, it's hard for me to trust and believe something that was just rewritten, you know, about 600 short years ago. 600 years seems like a long time, but on the greater scale, you have to understand, that's not that long ago, man. And, uh, you know, King James, I don't, uh, my thing is this, people, if I read the Bible, and then my brother reads the Bible, and then the bitch that works at the fucking gas station reads the Bible. My boss reads the Bible. And then Tommy reads the Bible. We're going to have five different fucking stories. Period. No two people will get the same thing out of the entire Bible. You might get the same thing out of this section. Or you might agree on this section. But for the most part, you're going to get five different fucking interpretations. And which is fucked up. Because then when you got 600 people sitting in the church... Maybe not that many. I don't know. That's a big ass church. If you got 50 people sitting in the church and the preacher's up there preaching under his interpretation, to me, that's like false uh, false teachings, man. You can't teach people what you think the Bible means. They have to read it for themselves. You can't go and goddamn go, well, here's what that means because you don't have a fucking clue. You know what I'm saying? Don't sit there and act like you know when you don't. All you know is what's in your heart and what's in your beliefs. When it comes to facts, they're out the window with religion. As far as I'm concerned, there is no fucking facts. Um,. Me and Grim had that talk one time uh, where I was telling him I just don't believe facts at all. Other than silly shit like, you know, uh, this camera's recording right now. That's a fact. <coughs> you know, then again, I only know that it's recording because everybody told me when that fucking little light's on, it's recording. And then when I play it back, it plays, so I'm pretty sure they're right. But uh, with religion, man, and basically anything that happened before pictures and video... Or is all hearsay for me? For my, in my opinion, in my beliefs, my heart, my opinion, everything before video and pictures and photographs are hearsay because we have no fucking idea other than writings. And what the fuck? I can write anything I want, and you can believe it or not. And trust me, if I start my own goddamn religion or my own writings, somebody's gonna follow me, and somebody will damn believe what I'm telling them. Even Peter uh, Griffin with the fucking Church of the Fonzie. Look, you know, it might seem silly because it's a cartoon, but I bet you that if you go start the Church of the Fonzie, you will get some people in there. <laughs> it's sad, but you will. Um, 
anyway, back to the Bible and King James, you know, I find it very difficult to believe something that has been rewrote by a rich white motherfucker in Scotland, you know, I don't, um, I believe that, uh, Shakespeare had a role in some of the Bible writings, you know, when I first heard that, I was doubtful of that, I didn't think they were alive at the same time, I did a little looking up some shit, a little research, and read up on them, and again, I'm no expert in the subject, and I didn't read all that much, but what I did find out is that not only were they alive at the same time, they were actually friends, probably fucking each other, I don't know, you know, a lot of uh, signs point that King James was a homosexual, which is fine, but it's funny that the Bible looks down on it, so who knows, but my thing is this, again, with him rewriting the Bible, why the fuck should I believe what he interpreted the Bible to be? If he went through, and I understand he had more people helping him. I mean, it's not like he just sat there and read it and rewrote it. But for him to take the original Bible, or whatever the Bible was before that, what they considered the original Bible, when it was read by him, and he interpreted it in his way, which is 100% different than mine, I'm sure, and most of yours, and then rewrite it in his own belief or what he interpreted it as is highly unfair. And the fact that so many, and when I say so many, I mean billions of motherfuckers believe that shit. It's unbelievable to me. I'm like blown away completely that people will trust in somebody's interpretations from 600 years ago a fucking Scotland king of all things as evil and as fucked up and as torturous as most kings were back then, <clears throat> I can't believe that people would take that and run with it. Now what I believe, in my opinion, in my opinion, is that people, well first of all, people believe the Bible basically because they don't have a choice. It was bashed in their fucking head most of their life as a child. I went to church on my own. My mom didn't go to church. Um, my dad, I, I didn't grow up with him, but I do know that he he doesn't believe. He believes that there might be a God. He's about like I am. I mean, he believes there may be a God. Not sure. The rest of it's fucking horseshit um, to him and me. Uh, what else? Um, <coughs> excuse me. The uh, the King James thing, man. I, I believe that he the Bible was rewrote. And laid out to benefit those rich white scholars, Europeans, that came here to America. And again, I mean, you know, y'all might could look up some shit and prove me totally wrong, which you won't, because uh, anything you find from back then, again, is just hearsay to me. So you can make yourself feel better. Or if you know some shit, please, by all means, tell me about it, because I love listening and I love learning more shit. But again, in my opinion and my personal belief is that, that they, they brought their... Uh, rewritten bullshit fuck story to America along with the slaves to benefit them. I mean, it was rewrote and passed out to the masses as a fucking, you know, this fairy tale bullshit of um, the way we should live and how we should do things and the decisions we should make. Really, it's just a manual to fucking hold people down because as long as the majority of people are scared to do certain things like kill, I mean, you know, the fucking Ten Commandments is all bullshit. It's the same as the fucking laws. You get to go to prison for all these things. Or jail, you know, or you can get in trouble, whatever. But, um, the law, the laws are based on that, but thou shalt not kill? What the fuck? More people die in the name of God than any other thing combined. I mean, cancer can't fuck with God. AIDS, cancer, Fucking handguns and fucking uh, car crashes. None of them could come close to religious murder. You know, it's fucking ridiculous, man. You know, right quick, let me just finish up by saying that um, to me, to really just boil down what I think religion is, what it was for, is just a, the same thing I said on the uh, some other couple other videos with the racism video. I think I said it that. Uh, it's just a form of separation. And the more religions, the better. Because there's that many more separate groups. And when you have separate groups all over the place, 
then you can control them because they're not paying you no mind. You know, you're up here like, okay, we got fucking Buddhist, black people, fucking damn, uh, you know, rapists, whatever it is. You got all these fucking different people that all stay together in little cliques because we're programmed that they're not going to accept you. Don't even try, which they do. They still fucking rub that shit in your face. But it's a form of separation. Every bit of it. It's all a, a, a fucking look at that and, and don't look at me. You know, the government has always ran their shit all the way back to the beginning. Hand in hand with the Bible, you know, where, you know, people and people these days, it doesn't even matter because nobody, people don't not kill people because they'll go to hell. They don't want to go to prison. You know what I'm saying? Ironically, because they go to prison, then they become real religious, right? Especially if they get death row. But um, anyway, I'm kind of rambling. I feel like I'm talking in circles. Uh, I wasn't really prepared. I hate it, but I don't. I don't like to just fucking write up some shit. You know, turn on the camera and talk about it. So there you go. Religion is fucking whack. Um, if you're living a decent life and trying to do your best, and God, the Bible, church makes you a better man, and you're actually a decent person, I'm all for it, man. But don't fucking be sitting up in church on Sunday, and then Monday you're cheating on your wife, Tuesday you're smoking crack, and Wednesday you're sucking dick, you know, and all this other shit, and just being a fucking total piece of shit. And then Sunday, you're back to the fucking shirt and tie, and you love everybody bullshit. Because, you know, if, if the whole shit is real, the hell is going to be packed full of preachers and fucking church members, because you are the fucking worst. I'd rather God look at me and go... How come you didn't come to church? And I can tell him in front of anybody. I don't care who's standing there. I will tell him that, look, man, what the fuck do you think I was going to do? Your church is filled with bullshit, man. I know you didn't need the money. They fucking want me to give up all my goddamn money every week. Fuck, man. God don't need it. The church is brand new. What are you fucking buying besides the Cadillac the preacher's driving? What are you buying for that? Secondly, um, I used to work for a guy. He was real big into the church. And, um... He was always quick to tell me that um, I should give money out of my check, or I should. And I told him, I said, "Look, man, whenever those rules were made, or whatever, was in a time when they didn't even have power, let alone car insurance, water bills, fucking them, all this silly shit we buy, you know." And I understand that I don't have to have these things. I could live strictly with God and live in the woods and not wash my ass. But fuck that, man. Because on the other side, I was programmed. I have to have nice shit. I have to have cable because I have to see the fucking show that's coming on tonight. I can't miss it. What I'm not going to do is watch those stupid goddamn televangelists on my cable TV. You're the first ones to go in hell. I promise. You're scumbags, and I hope you all fucking choke to death the next time you eat. Please. With the Benny Hinn. Oh, 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 a man was just cured of cancer just then. Praise God. Oh. Oh, my God, a man with a broken back just walked. Praise the Lord Jesus. Oh, you know, please. And as he's doing this, I'm like, bling, blow, fucking canary diamonds and shit. I'm like, these people are writing this son of a bitch checks left and right. And I'm like, are you fucking zombies or something? I don't understand. Anyway, fuck him, fuck him. Die slow That's all I can say. Peace.